Hey guys, so this is your girl Taylor, aka Roberson Royalty, and I'm coming back with another one. So today I'm going to be trying some new complexion products. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I've kind of been a bit of a snob when it comes to my foundation. I've been experimenting with different eyeshadows, um, even primers, and... Um, mascaras and what have you but i've really been sticking since fenty launched that's the only foundation i've been using and of course um even with the um even with the concealers i've been using the matchsticks of the fenty beauty matchsticks or uh where is my other one Okay, so she said that one. Or this one I get from the Beauty Plus store. It's it's called RK by Kiss. It's a pure mineral um, cachet concealer, high definition, smart blend, in warm honey. So I've been using that. Or Elf HD highlighting concealer. So I mean, I've really been you know experiment with everything else besides the foundation before Fenty I use 440 and Fenty before Fenty I was using black opal the stick was like gold to me because it was the only stick that or foundation that really matched my undertones so um, this is F 47 and as you can see I've gotten so much use out of it every now and again I'll still go to it but I've really kind of been sticking to the Fenty so I really want to show you guys some different things within this videos not just the same old thing all the time especially with my foundation one of my biggest issues is that I have oily skin and when I say oily skin, I mean very oily skin. My skin might not look oily now, and it's just because of my skincare routine. Like, I'm religious with my skincare routine. I use the same products because I know what works for my skin. I've recently started, like, introducing other um, products that are supposed to, like, smooth out the texture of my skin. But other than that, I just included that along with what I normally do. And I'll do a video to just share what I do as far as skincare is concerned and so it helps to balance me out initially but by the middle of the day if I have makeup on even if it claims to be matte it's going to be a oily hot mess which is why you see me doing a lot of powder um, so today I went to the drugstore now I consider going to pick up another higher end um, foundation but I really would like because Fenty is a little bit expensive and I really would like to show you guys or try to try out some less expensive alternatives because if you're like me you don't have $50 to spend on foundation and then $30 to spend on the concealers every single time so I'm going to try some drugstore foundation and kind of couple it with some of the other products that I have and see how it does so um, I picked up this Iman um, concealing foundation it is supposed to be matte and it's by um, sheesh, 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 black radiance so black radiance makes Do they make this or was it in the just in the black radiant? No, this is by Iman. <laughs> I'm so serious. S silly. So this is Iman. It's supposed to be, it's also supposed to be a foundation that caters to black skin. It's a luxury concealing foundation. Alright. So it's supposed to have a matte finish. It's a two-in-one flawless cover foundation and spot concealer. And this is how it looks. I know it looks kind of light in the bottle, but this was the closest match. It's in Clay 5. And then I picked up the Black Radiance uh, True Complexion Contour Palette. Um, and it has like the three shades. This is supposed to be the contour shade, the sculpt, and then the highlight. 
and I also picked up to a uh, primer this is like the HD primer from Black Radiance. I'm going to try that. And it has SPF 15 in it. So we shall see. It's supposed to be oil free. And then I also picked up the BB cream. I'm not going to use that today. But I'm excited about it. Because apparently it's like the truth from Black Radiance. And so we'll see on another day. Like a you know get up and go type of day. So, I'm um, also going to be using, like, this palette, the NYX palette. I just bought it. I haven't filmed with it, but I've used it before. So, you guys will be able to see what I'm going to do with my eyes. So, that is what I have for you today. I want to, before we begin, to just let you know that I want you to join my channel. Please subscribe, guys. If you really like the content that I'm providing, my husband is banging doors back there. If you like the content that I'm providing, if you like my the looks, if you like, if you want more content, if you want different content, if you like, oh, I like this, but I think she should do this, subscribe to my channel, put a comment in the comment section, and then I'll make the, you know, I'll make it happen within reason. Um, also, please like the videos. The more you like them, the more exposure that the videos get, and then the more content that I can give you guys. Um, I want my channel to grow 2019. It's new beginnings. So new beginnings, new growth. I don't believe that um, you have to grow at anyone's set rate. Some people are like, well, don't have high hopes, you know, your channel will grow, but it's going to grow really slow. And I don't believe that not one bit because you guys can make it happen and we can grow rapidly. All right. You don't have to wait um, 20 years for your blessings all the time. Sometimes they come in, in 20 days. So I'm really excited to get started. Um, also, click the little bell at the bottom of the page so that you can get notifications when I'm uploading new content. So other than that, let's get started. Okay, so first I just put a little lip gloss on to get my lips moisturized. Next, I'm going in with my Black Radiance HD Primer. It has SPF 15 and it's supposed to be oil free and it's slightly tinted. I thought this would be great to try. This is my first time using this product. Um, although after I put it on, I noticed that I did look a little ashy, um, but we will see how it looks after I apply my foundation. Kimmy Brow in 4.5 by Benefit. I always use this just to um, do my brows, get them into place, and get it ready for to put the rest of my makeup on. So now I'm going in with my RX by Kiss. In con um, it's a concealer in Warm Honey. I'm using this as a base for my eyes. I usually would use my NYX Pigment Primer. However, I find that when I'm really trying to get colors to pop and to show up, it's better for me to use the concealer um, closer to the shade of my skin as a base because it really gets those colors to pop. So now I'm going in with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is the Brights Palette. I am taking the yellow color. I'm sad because this palette doesn't really have um, names for the colors within the palette, but I'm taking the yellow shade, the brightest yellow shade, and I'm putting it all over my lid. And bringing it up to the base of my crease, just because it'll be easier to blend doing it that way. So I'm putting a generous amount on there. I'm going to wipe off the brush. And then I'm just going to go slightly above the crease just to blend everything out so I don't have really harsh lines. After I put some concealer, some more concealer on my eye, so I went back in with the Warm Honey by uh, RX Ruby Kiss. And I'm just putting that on the center of my eye. I'm just doing that to prep my eye for the 
more pigmented eyeshadow look. So I'm going in with the green color all the way on the end. It's the darkest color green. And I'm putting it on the outer corners of my eye just to add some depth. I'm going for a more green ivy look and um, that darker green on the outside corner I think really makes this whole look pop and come together. So I'm just patting the color in. I'm not wiping it. I find that when I pat the color, it helps it to show up better. Now I'm going in with the neon green color that's right next to the darkest green and I am patting that all over the part of my eye that I cut. It's kind of a soft cut crease eye look. And I'm patting a generous amount on there and as you see now it's really starting to show up. I love this palette However, I do have to do quite a bit of prep in order for the colors to show up. And I do have to put a generous amount of eyeshadow on my eye in order for this color to show up. But neither here nor there, it looks popping after I get it all together. So I'm also taking a clean brush, that brush that I used um, and I wiped off with the yellow base and just using that to clean up my eyes. Next, I'm going in with my NYX, that's the point, eyeliner. This is called Hella Fine. It's in TTPE07. And I'm using that just to line my lash line, my upper lash line, to give me some dimension. I love using this eyeliner just because when it says it's hella fine, it really is. However, I have to be so careful and try to make it as perfect as possible. So now I'm just going in, cleaning it up. Next, I'm getting my lashes. I'm getting ready to put my lashes on. I always do an eyeliner base before I put my lashes on simply because the application looks better after it's all done. So now I'm getting my e.l.f. Um, it's another one of those eyeliner glitter in pink opal. I know it says pink opal, but it's not very pink. It actually has pink flecks of glitter in it but it's more silvery, more cool, which is the look that I'm going for. And I'm just going to place that over top of the, from the corner, inside corner of my eye, all the way to the outside corner. I'm not bringing it all the way down, but I'm bringing it over the center. And that's just to add sort of a wet shimmery look. I didn't want the glitter to overpower the colors. However, I wanted more of a pop to my eye, so I just added that in there. And I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm adding my eyelash glue onto the lashes. Sometimes I put the glue straight on my eyelid, but I did not want to mess up because I only do this when I'm really not concerned about the glue getting onto my shadow. However, I wanted a more precise look today, so I put the glue onto the actual eyelashes, waited for it to dry a bit, and then applied it to my lashes. So when I apply my lashes, I really just, I push the lash down. I push it down several times until it stays there and then I'm just mashing my lash and the lash together. Now I'm almost done with my lashes. I've got the other lash on. Again, I'm mashing everything together, pressing it down just so that we don't have any gaps and just to make sure that the lash is secured. 
All right, so now I'm going in with my Laura Mercer Loose Powder. This is in the shade medium to deep. It's supposed to be a translucent powder. However, as you can see, it does give some coverage before you apply it. I'm going to be, I'm headed to church after this, and sometimes it could be a little hot, and I'm singing today. So I wanted to make sure that my makeup stayed matte and flawless because as I've told you before, I have really oily skin. Now I'm trying a new foundation from Iman. This is supposed to be luxury concealing foundation. So it's going, supposed to conceal and give coverage at the same time. It's a two in one flawless coverage foundation and spot concealer. This is in the shade Clay 5. Now I started off using a beauty blender for this concealer, but I found that that wasn't working well to blend it in. I'm not sure if it was because I used the powder first, but usually if I use the powder for, let's say my Fenty foundation, it works just fine. One thing I noticed right off the back, especially after looking back at this video, was that this foundation has seriously yellow undertones. Um, it looks almost like mustard on uh, the screen. However, after it dries down and it oxidizes a bit, it doesn't look so yellow. It doesn't look so mustardy. Also, I just changed the color just so you guys can see the difference. But the undertones are seriously yellow. So if you have a red tone or more olive tone skin, this would not be for you. I do have a yellow undertone under my skin, so I was able to get away with it. So I'm going back in with the Kiss Concealer in Warm Honey, and I am using that to highlight. I always like to give a generous amount of concealer simply because... Again, my skin is so oily. When you have oily skin, sometimes the product can move around. And we don't want that product to move around. We want it to stay right where it is. So I always use a generous amount of concealer. This concealer actually is one of my favorites. It's one of my go-to. So now I'm going in with the Laura Mercer powder in medium to deep and I'm going to use that to set my highlight because I'm not going for such a dramatic look and this powder matches my skin more for all over powdered look. I'm going in with my Fenty matchstick in espresso and I'm going to use that to contour. I feel like this my face looked a little washed out. It might have been because of the primer. It could have been a primer and the foundation mixture, but I really felt the need to contour and make sure that the contour was uh, prevalent. So I put it on a little bit heavier than I would usually do. And then I went in with my True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. It's in medium to dark in the deepest shade to set the contour. Next, I went to my Fenty Beauty Kill Watt and I used um, Stone Cold just to highlight those high areas of my face. Um, again, this is a very cool look. I love Stone Cold. I think it just makes my face look so icy. I took that on my high cheekbones, um, my eye bone, my forehead down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and my inner tear duct. Then I just used my Urban Decay Setting Spray to set my face, and now I'm going in with my mascara. I used my Too Faced Better Than Sex Extreme Lashes on my top lashes just to blend the falsies and my lashes together and then of course I took it down on my bottom lashes I just feel like the look is not complete until you have the bottom lashes done now I'm finishing it off with my fussy gloss balm by Fenty and that is the completed look tell me what you think